Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one. I thought, you know, February, as I look out of the window just a couple of days before you're seeing this, the sun is out, it's gorgeous. We had snow last week, I played in it. I was like a big kid, but I'm hopeful spring is on the way and that means butterflies. And it was a really good excuse to use the floating and fluttering stamp set. So I used the new Oso oh Ombre paper. Now this is celebration. This runs out at the end of this month unless stocks sell out or go through because it's a freebie. So it's very pretty. I went with the Bermuda Bay for this one. I'm going to make a version using the Rococo Rose. I chose that because it's a colour I don't use hugely often. I'm not really sure why. It's not an offensive colour, it's rather a lovely colour, but for whatever reason I don't use it very often. Okay, so the finished dimensions of the box, uh, three and a half by three and a half by two inches, which is nine by nine by five centimetres. And to make the base of the box, you need a piece of cardstock that's seven and a half by seven and a half inches, which is 19 by 19 centimetres. And we're going to score it at two inches. Uh, five centimetres on all four sides and then the lid is just simply a piece of the paper it's six by six inches um, if you work in metric 15 by 15 centimetres and we're going to score that at one and a quarter all the way around but just move it out very slightly and somebody left a comment on one of my videos last week and said why don't you just you know, why do you move the cardstock and why don't you just score on the next line? Um, it would make the box too, the box lid too big for the box. Um, so that's why I just move it out very slightly. And you could work in 15 sixteenths of an inches or take it right down into millimetres. Nobody likes to do that. So I just make it a little bit easier. Um, but yeah, if I made this part of the box bigger which is what would happen if you moved if you scored just at like one and three eighths of an inch or whatever it would be too big to sit over this part and it would fall off and nobody wants that falling off right so burnish oh i didn't realize this was the other side of that one huh. i do like this paper so i'm just burnishing those so it's the first of february today so while I do this in trim, let me think of some stuff I need to share with you. So celebration ends at the end of this month. So on the 28th, because obviously February is a short month. So on the 28th, it comes to an end. So if you want to get your freebies, um, it's this month. If you want to join and get the five packs of design series paper for free that comes to an end at the end of this month and at the point in time i'm filming this there's been more than 30 people join my team um and like i said i'm filming this friday you're seeing it monday so only a couple of days ago and yes there's meant to be lessons going on but oliver's in his bedroom highly animated right now um let me just keep doing this what else um the hey chick and hey birthday chick promotion starts it does start this month i'm just trying to <laughs> remember if it's today or if it's tomorrow but that's the special bundle and hey chick was celebration stamp set from a fair few years ago that was so popular it has been brought back and you can buy it but it's got dyes with it i haven't got mine in hand yet so right let me just put this box together oh what is it with with seal and me right now <laughs> seal doesn't want to play do you know what it's highly temperamental isn't it fine when i'm film when i'm not filming doesn't want to play today right so all of these corners are going to get stuck down box itself so quick to make um, I've made lidded boxes before but I've never made them with um, that little bit more designer series paper normally I've done it like an inch 
difference but I just yeah I fancy doing something just a little different let me see if it's going to work on paper you see it's fine on the paper today <laughs> right so we're just sealing it in exactly the same way as we did the base And I probably should have done the stamping and stuck the lid on first, uh, stuck it on the lid before I closed it up. So as you can see, so in answer to the question I had the other day, it fits perfectly over the top and it's not coming off because I only moved it that teeny tiny, teeny tiny little bit. Okay, let's stamp. Oh, you see, I should have stamped first with my memento to let it dry. Okay, so this piece of cardstock, three and a quarter by three and a quarter inches eight and three quarter by eight and three quarter centimeters. And I need a big block. Although thankfully it is see-through, so I can see what I'm doing. So I've got memento because I'm going to use blends on this. And my method to ink up a big stamp is twist, tap, tap. So and then I know it's well covered. I'm going to put that on there and I want it more towards the top because my ribbon is going to come underneath it. Lovely. Right, I need that to dry for a second. So, while I'm doing that, I'm going to clean this stamp set. So, this is the stamping scrub. Have you got one of these? These things are brilliant. I actually own four. My theory is, and I'm going to age myself here, one on, one off and one in the wash. You know what I mean. But I have four because I do lots of crafting and I get very, very inky and I need to move it out of the way and I just never get around to washing them. So I end up with three in the bathtub drying. So we've got a little raindrop here and we've got a sunshine there. You probably can't see it. But this is your wet side. So you get your stamp in mist which now looks like this but I've got a retro one that was a gift and just spritz it a little bit take your stamp scrub 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 and then over into the dry side dry 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 and that is good to go now I've heard of people who lick them who use baby wipes don't do that it, not so bad on photopolymer it's going to wreck your red rubber um, we do have a chamois um, and I never remember to keep mine wet despite the fact that my bathroom is two doors down this corridor you need it wet all the time so I'm a bit hopeless at that so that's my go-to and it's open permanently to the right hand side apart from when I now need to clean right let's hope fingers crossed this is dried now so I've got three colours this one I used pool party so saffron and flirty flamingo the light of each and I've pulled out the light Rococo Rose, the light So Saffron, and what, and the dark Highland Heather. I don't want the dark one. I want the light one. So, and I'm just going to literally blend them together. And this is Jack's influence, my son. Um, th whoops. This coming month, so throughout February you're going to see projects on my blog that he and I have done together. So some of them he did, some and he, you know, fully. Some of them he assisted me with. But yeah, you'll see projects that, that we've done together. We've seen where he's had opinion on colour combinations. You'll see all sorts. And... Yeah, I, do you know what? I had such a lot of fun working with him. He is studying art and media and product design. <laughs> what a good job his mum does what she does. So yeah, he's been working with me. But he isn't limited by his colour combination. See, I should have zoomed in on that. Let me just, you know, particularly as that was the biggest one. But yeah, he's not he doesn't find himself restricted by colour. He just does whatever he fancies. And yeah, anything goes as far as he's concerned. But his favourite combination is pool party. Well, it's this, this combination. That's his favourite, which I find very interesting, actually. And let me 
pictures. <laughs> you can hear Oliver. I'm hoping that the microphone is literally just picking up me. There is no guarantee it's just picking up me. <laughs> oh, look, I've gone out the line again. It's because I'm giggling at him. <laughs> The boys are so good. I'm very, very fortunate that our school is supplying everything that the children need. Or because I've got three of them at secondary school. And then I've got um, Oliver's the only one who's at primary school. And they're actually teaching them at our school, which is very good. So they just have to make sure that they log into lessons. I just need to make sure they're up in the morning. But yeah, they log into lessons and um, attend their classes oops and yeah and it's it's the teaching is done they're being taught it's yeah like I say I'm I'm very fortunate but then my boys are older um you know I'm I'm not having to think about algebra or anything like that The only problem is having to feed them. Not that I have a problem with feeding them, obviously, but the fact that um, they all have meals at different times. Right, so I'm coming in with Just Jade now. So I'm going to do the light on that bit. And there. And then these ones. As soon as I finish recording this video, I'm going to pop in there and remind him where I am. His bedroom is right next to my office. So put a shout, put a put a comment if you are homeschooling your children and wanting a break. Right, so that's done, and you can see I started the centre of each three of my each of my three butterflies differently. So I started so saffron on this one, rococo rose on that one, and. Um, Highland Heather on that one. So they all look quite different. Right, let me zoom back out again. And so I've got some seal. And this will just sit over the top. Like that. And then this ribbon is, I'm not sure that it's actually Rococo Rose. It's Blushing Bride and Rococo Rose, but I don't mind. It's okay. It's pretty and it's similar colours. It's probably Rococo Rose that side, isn't it? And well, given that this is double-sided ribbon, that's not too shabby a bow, is it? Oh, look. <laughs> Don't touch it anymore. <laughs> and on this one, I used the enamel. Actually, they're, no, they're resin dots. But I have got these ones out, and I haven't used them. Mm. These are in the annual catalogue, and they're the butterfly gems that are in are in colours. Can't believe I've not used them yet. How just dreadful! And it's obviously it's, it's the five in colours, so. Rococo rose coloured butterflies just makes sense, doesn't it? So I'll take two of the bigger ones and one of the smaller ones. And aren't they lovely? They look so very different as well, just by switching out the colours. Just lovely. I love them. I hope you do too. Thank you ever so much for joining me. Hope to see you very soon. Bye.